Good morning, my tubies, my TikTokers, Sheila True Love here with you this fine. Today is Thursday. How are you? I hope all is well. Do you like my look? Yes, my darling. I always try for the classy look. News anchor woman, Claire Huxtable, Michelle Obama. Those are women who I feel are classy and they tend to dress with authority. Not trying to be sexy, but trying to be taken seriously. So there you go. Right now, we're going to talk about being a people pleaser. A lot of people think that being a people pleaser is a good thing. Actually, I find that that's a form of lying, being fake and phony, you know. Um, and I found someone who agrees. Not that I need that type of validation, because as long as I have Jehovah God, Jesus Christ validation, that's pretty much all I need. And I'm good. But anyway, without further ado... I love, love, love. His name is Roman Zanoni. I think that's how I pronounce, that's how you pronounce it. Listen in, my darlings. You have got to stop people pleasing. People pleasers are liars. They're manipulators. They're false. The craziest thing is they are not bad people. You are some of the most wonderful people on earth. But you need to learn how to stop living in fear of other people's emotions or what people are going to do or say. Somewhere along the lines, you deluded your own self into believing the false prophecy that you were sent here to make everyone else happy. People pleasers can get so caught up in trying to do what everyone else wants them to do that they actually lose touch with their own voice. They don't know what they want anymore as opposed to what other people are wanting. People pleasers will do something hoping they're going to get something in return. It's a false niceness when they do that. When they're in groups with friends, they're different in this group than when they're in the other group. And when they're in that group, they're different than when they're over with another group. So they got so many different personalities. They might even pride themselves on being a chameleon, but you're not a chameleon. You're a human being. Thank you. Stop it. Thank you. Healthy people can sense that you're not healthy and you don't have boundaries. And that repels them. So all the healthy people that you come across in life are afraid to be around you because you don't have good boundaries. All the narcissists and abusers, users, takers, selfish, greedy people, they love you. They see you and they're like, hmm. This is the type of person I'm looking for. Yep. Keep on pleasing me. Keep on trying to keep me in your life. Do everything I want you to do. I want to control you. And you're like, oh, I don't want to get rejected by that narcissist. I'll do everything I can to keep them in my life. You are so much better and more important than running around trying to be a servant to anyone and everyone. So let me give you the secrets to people pleasing. I am putting on a free class right now. It's happening. I am live right now. Get in that class and learn how to overcome people pleasing and to become the opposite. Self-sufficient. I really appreciated it when he said people who are healthy, they could see straight through a people pleaser. And that's why I was telling someone uh, recently, a family member, you know, people can see when you're being fake and phony. Nobody likes a fake, phony person because that's just a form of being a liar. You know, um, also people who like to sugarcoat everything. That to me is, is just a liar, a fake and phony. Like me, I'm a straight shooter. When I speak to you, I know how to use tact. I know how to use to be tactful. At the same time, you have a lot of people who are overly sensitive. Everything offends them. They take everything out of context. They see everything the wrong way. They, they assign bad motives to what you were, something positive you was trying to do. I have two family members that are like that, way too sensitive, overly sensitive. They don't like the way you talk to them. They don't like the way most people talk to them. Issues. Walking, emotional, train wrecks that need to really grow up. That's what's the problem. They need to grow up emotionally. 
Now, one of the main reasons why I don't particularly care for people pleasers and people who sugarcoat everything because that's a form of lying. If you look at John chapter 8, verse 44, this is how I see them. John 8, 44 says, you are the children of your father, the devil, and you love to do the evil things he does. He was a murderer from the beginning. He has always, here, here's the main point. He has always hated the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, it is consistent with his character for he is a liar and the father of lies. So for all those who are saying that they are Christians and they're children of God, yeah, you're, yeah, Satan is a God too. Don't forget it. Don't get that part twisted. You are the children of your father, the devil, when you're a liar, you know, sitting around here sugarcoating everything. I know you have to use tact. And like, I, I know a person, he's very, very abrasive. His speech and his tone, you have to watch your tone, your volume, make sure you're not calling people out of their name. And um, yeah, but speak the truth. And like, like this uh, gentleman said, he said, you know, people who are healthy, they can see straight through people pleasers because people pleasers, they're manipulators and they're hoping to get what they want. They're hoping to get something in return. So they have this false niceness. And personally, I don't think too many people really appreciate that, you know, and, 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 and as women, we are pretty much raised to be a people pleaser where well, I can't be so bothered with that. Like I said, I'm a straight shooter. If you don't know how to handle that, put yourself in therapy, do what you need to do to toughen up. We live in a very tough world, a very, um, <laughs> you know, you can't afford to be made out of aluminum. I'm made out of iron and steel. Thanks to Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. But you have a lot of people in this world they're very overly sensitive. I can't stand it. That's why, to be honest with you, I communicate best. Like I told you, I don't really believe in astrology, but I do believe in astro psychology. I work best with Capricorns, Sagittarius, Aquarius, uh, Pisces, and Virgo. Because those are people I find easy to talk to. You don't have to sugarcoat stuff. You don't have to... Uh, uh, it's like walking on a tightrope when you're dealing with certain people. I, no. That those, uh, uh, no. So I, I like to always know who I'm speaking to. So I know how to come at you, whether you're overly sensitive, like if your moon is in cancer, we're going to have a hard time communicating. They're overly sensitive. Everything hurts them. They see things the wrong way. They think that feelings are facts and feelings are not facts on logic, research studies. That's facts. But you have a lot of people who are very sensitive like I said, I can't be so bothered. Let me play this again for you. <laughs> I can't be so bothered with overly sensitive people because I think it's going to take, I know two of them that are very overly sensitive. They're going to take another 10, I think 10 to 12 years for them to grow up emotionally because trying to have conversations with them, oh my God. And they seem to have issues with everyone. I don't like the way this person talks to me. This person don't know how to talk to me. People pay to talk to me. As you know, I'm a paid advice coach and I have people who actually pay to speak with me. Every week I have at least five emails. I get three phone calls. So I think I know how to speak tactfully and I know how to speak uh, professionally and, 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 and speak pro properly to people. But then you have those, child, whatever. Have got to stop people pleasing. People pleasers are liars. They're manipulators. They're false. The craziest thing is they are not bad people. You are some of the most wonderful people on earth. But you need to learn how to stop living in fear of other people's emotions or what people are going to do or say. Somewhere along the lines, you deluded your own self into believing the false prophecy that you were sent here to make everyone else happy. People pleasers can get so caught up in trying to do what everyone else wants them to do that they actually lose touch with their own voice. They don't know what they want anymore as opposed to what other people are wanting. 
people pleasers will do something hoping they're going to get something in return. It's a false niceness when they do that. When they're in groups with friends, they're different in this group than when they're in the other group. And when they're in that group, they're different than when they're over with another group. So they got so many different personalities. They might even pride themselves on being a chameleon. But you're not a chameleon. You're a human being. Stop it. Healthy people can sense that you're not healthy and you don't have boundaries. And that repels them. So all the healthy people that you come across in life are afraid to be around you because you don't have good boundaries. All the narcissists and abusers, users, takers, selfish, greedy people, they love you. They see you and they're like, hmm, this is the type of person I'm looking for. Yep, keep on pleasing me. Keep on trying to keep me in your life. Do everything I want you to do. I want to control you. And you're like, oh, I don't want to get rejected by that narcissist. I'll do everything I can to keep them in my life. You are so much better and more important than running around trying to be a servant to anyone and everyone. So let me give you the secrets to people pleasing. I am putting on a free class right now. So there you have it, my darlings. Don't forget people pleasers. They need to stop living in fear of other people's emotions. And keep in mind that being a people pleaser, that's nothing but false niceness. It's a form of lying. And don't forget what John chapter 8, verse 44, for you are the children of your father, the devil. He has always hated the truth because the truth is not in him and he's the father of lies. And I'm sure you don't want that or you don't want to be seen as that.